Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to open a BandLab project in Cakewalk. Open Cakewalk on a Windows PC. At the top right of the start screen, click on the X icon. Then at the top left of the screen, click on the File tab, and then click on Browse BandLab Projects. Now at this point, you want to make sure that your internet is connected. And then this screen will come up, which is the web browser screen that's got the BandLab login screen on it. And then you're going to need to log into your BandLab account. And once you've logged into your BandLab account, you can close the browser window. And now this BandLab projects window has appeared. Now you can click on the name of the projects that are listed on the left side of the window to select the project that you're after. And over here on the right side of the screen, you'll see there's this section here that says select revision. And the selected revision at the moment is written just here. And if you want to change the revision, just click on select revision. And you've got the list here of all the different revisions or saves that you've done of your project. And if I just click on this one here, and it will change here. So now this is the revision that I've selected for download. I'll go back to my original one. So this is the one I want. This is the latest, as it says in brackets at the end there. This is the last saved revision. Now, before I download, I'm going to go down here to where it says download settings. And you've got a selection here. Now the first one, if you tick the box to the left of track regions, what that will do is it will download the MIDI clips and the audio clips that you've got in your BandLab project. But it won't include any effects and it won't include any virtual instruments. So you, you literally will download a MIDI track without any virtual instruments. You'll have to find one in Cakewalk to add to it. And there won't be any effects on the MIDI tracks and there won't be any effects on the audio tracks. So you'll need to add new effects to the audio tracks. Now that I've got that set to track regions and come over here and then click on load. And that will download my project. And here is the project downloaded. And you can see up here we've got some MIDI tracks. And down here I've got some audio tracks. And you'll notice that with the MIDI tracks, I've got the MIDI clip itself, but any sections that were looped of this MIDI track have not been included here. So the loops will be missing. Come out of that one. I'll go back into this again. So I've got this screen back up again now. And if I click on download settings again, the second one here is track mix down. If I tick on track mix down, then I will download in theory a mix down version of each of the tracks. So whether it's a MIDI track or an audio track, it'll be mixed down to an audio track and you'll get a separate audio track for each of the tracks. And that will include any effects. And if I go over here to where it says load and click on load, I will now download, in theory, these mixed down audio tracks. But as you can see, BandLab at the moment has a major problem with trying to download the track mix downs.
So as you can see here, none of them have come through. Maybe that's something we'll fix in the future. And in downloads, the other two options we've got here, well, empty tracks is just simply going to download any empty tracks you've got in your BandLab project. And that won't be with any virtual instruments included or any effects as per the track regions. And if you click on the tick box to the left of project mix down, what that will do is it will download a mix down version of your whole project. And that will include any effects, pans and all the rest of it. Very much like in the same way as when you export your project or you download your project to your phone. So if I click on load now. You'll see I've got this bottom track here and this is the whole of the project downloaded into one stereo audio track. And although it has brought in these other tracks, it hasn't included any of the information from that because I only ticked on the project mix down. And of course, if I tick on all of the boxes, I should get, when I click on load, a download of everything. But once again, BandLab fails to download the track mix downs. So once you've got it downloaded, that's when you can start doing some work on it. You'll need to add some MIDI instruments and the effects back on it. But if you've downloaded the project mix down, then you'll get some idea of what you need to add. If I click on one of these audio tracks, you'll see that over here, the level that I set in BandLab has been replicated here. So those kind of things do get transferred across. And you'll notice up here that the tempo has also been transferred across. So the song tempo of 82 in BandLab has been converted here onto this project, which is a new project in Catewalk. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.